Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to go over five organization tips for bloggers. So these tips are gonna help you stay organized so that you can take on more client work uh, and continue to grow your earnings. So we'll get right into it. I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna go through my blog. The first tip is that it all starts with your inbox. So for me, uh, I found that in the first two years that I started freelance writing, uh, I gained a lot of clients and a lot of clients came and went and some clients would come. I wouldn't hear from them for a few months and they would then come back and ask me if I could do more writing for them. And I went searching and searching through my inbox and couldn't find prior communications that I really needed. Uh, so organizing everything on your inbox, I'll, I'll uh, pop over here and show you guys mine. You'll see real quickly, just if I scroll down here on the right side, how many different tabs that I've created so if I'm looking for, say I was looking for a client that I blog for, uh, Camping World, I gotta go down here. I organized them underneath the platform that I found, uh, that I applied through, which is Pro Blogger. So underneath Pro Blogger here, you can see that I've got several, uh, several different clients that I blog for here, and they're all organized uh, based on client and then I can go in here and find any any information that I need uh, from Camping World right so tip number one stay organized with your inbox create folders and continuously when you get new emails put them into those folders or the corresponding folders so that when you need them you'll be able to find them uh, Gmail gives you a great way to create a subfolder uh, for every client based on projects too so that can be good if you're working on blogs for a client versus if you're working on uh, web copy, website copy for them. You can separate those two projects using a subfolder so that you can keep those communications for each of those projects uh, separate and handy when you need them. Tip number two is, again, folders, folders, folders. And this is uh, on, your, on your desktop or on your hard drive. So if I flip over here and show you mine, right in my desktop, I've got my folder for what I've what I write and what I keep organized for my baluster writing blog. I've got a folder for my backpack guide blog. I've got a folder for best survival and camping world and slow life guides and a few other clients I've got over here, right? So these folders on your, on your desktop or on your computer's hard drive, if you keep creating content and blog content through whatever platform that you like and you're not organizing it as you go, either in Google Drive or on your computer's hard drive, you're gonna lose valuable content and valuable archives that as a blogger, you can go back and use those uh, things that you've already written to pitch new clients instead of, uh, instead of continuously having to pitch or to write new, new samples when clients ask for them. So tip number two is to organize your, your computer's hard drive or your desktop using folders uh, with your client's names, right? Or project names. Tip number three is to create a content calendar. And I'll show you mine. Uh, I used to do these and I used to put dates in here that I wanted to complete each one of these articles by. Say, story of B article needs to be done by uh, May 4th, right? And this may work better for you if you are one of those people that needs uh, hard and fast deadlines. So you can make sure you're holding yourself accountable. Uh, for me, I'm on, a, I'm on a regular schedule of writing one blog for this website and one for my other website, uh, well, one for my other two websites uh, each week. And so I can just come in here when I plan a whole month's, of con months worth of content in advance, I come in here and I say, what have I not done yet? And I just pick from one of these. Today I wrote uh, exercises to improve your writing. So I can go ahead and check that one off, right? Feels good. And in, in these uh, content spreads, I come in here about once every, my goal is to be able to come in here about once every two or three months, delete this, create a bunch of new article ideas, and then I don't have to do the brainstorming uh, for another two or three months. Basically, I try to do these content calendars about quarterly, right? So that's tip number three, create a content spreadsheet or a content calendar for yourself. So you don't have to come up with a new idea every time you sit down to write. Tip number four is to set reminders. So 
that content calendar I just showed you. I'll basically come over here into my Google calendar for you guys. And like I said, today I had a baluster writing blog. I wrote writing practices, five exercises to improve your writing. Tomorrow I've got a free day. On Thursday I've got backpack guide blog, best hammocks for lightweight camping. On next Tuesday I got another baluster writing blog. Next Thursday another backpack guide blog. So so on so forth. Uh, these this allows me to come in here to my content calendar every morning after I've had my coffee and done my meditation and I haven't thought about work at all for the first two hours of my day. I come in here and I think, ah, oh, okay, that's what I've got to do today. Let's get it started. Maybe I'll make one more cup of coffee before we really get going, but it's all clearly laid out. I've got the whole month of March planned out and I can see that if a client comes to me and says, hey, I need a little extra work. I've got this Monday open here. I've got another Monday open here. Well, actually that's a travel day, but you guys can see that uh, it becomes a little bit easier for me to fill in my calendar with what my clients need when I'm organized with my own personal blog stuff. So then my last tip is back up your work. What do I mean by back up your work? Uh, either in Google Drive by purchasing uh, monthly storage, 100 gigs for 199 isn't, isn't too bad of a deal and you can get obviously much more than that. But my, my uh, technique for backing up my work is via an external hard drive. So I actually have two of them now. And same, uh, about the same time that I go in and I create a new content calendar about every quarter, I like to take my folders that you guys saw. I'll show you again over here on my uh, desktop. And you can see that I don't have very many articles. In fact, I have just one article on here, how to put your backpack on properly because it was almost quarterly. I did it a little early this time around, uh, but I just went through here backed up all of these to my external hard drive and then was able to clear, clear all these folders. So there's not a bunch of clutter on my desktop. So backup, backup, backup. Uh, I've been far too many, far too many scenarios. Uh, when I was in grad school, I lost a computer right when I was about to uh, be finishing my thesis project, my final essays. And so you don't want to be there. You want to be at a place where if your computer does crash, you have it all on an external hard drive. Boom, you plug it in, you back it up, and you're off and running again, and you don't need to worry about having lost a whole bunch of stuff and having to contact a bunch of clients and tell them, yeah, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen this month kind of deal. So again, those are five tips for how to stay organized as a blogger. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, like, comment, share this uh, video, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos like this. We'll see you guys next time. I'm Ballister Writing. My name's Tucker. Thanks, guys.